Introducing to you first, on my left, fighting out of the red corner, wearing silver trunks with green trim, hailing from Tlalnepantla, Mexico. He weighed in at 147 to three quarter pounds, with a fine record of 26 wins, one loss and one draw. He has 20 big wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the WBA number 10 ranked welterweight contender, introducing El Demoledor. His opponent across the ring on my right, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing white trunks with green and red trim, proudly representing his hometown of Brooklyn, New York. He weighed in at 146 and one half pounds. His record stands at 31 wins. Knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Here is the two-time world champion and the current WBA welterweight champion of the world. Still calling this a championship fight, even though Pauli Malinaji cannot lose the championship. Bang, baby, bang. Round one. Kano is a very good body puncher. Ironically, he did that. He's doing that early in this fight. The Malinaji jab always in about. Oh, man. Malinaji very sharp in this second half. Now a lot of blood. Total fight. He thought he let him get away with some rough stuff. Here you go. Meantime, that's a very serious cut. Yeah, definitely. It's bleeding profusely. And we have to assume it came from a punch. And, then... and Malinaji round three. Nice combination by Connor. I suspect so, but luckily, God willing, I've never been cut before. Counter left hand from Connor. The time, though, because that cut is so bad. Good right hand right there from Connor, and then he takes a left hand from Malinaji. And we talked about the feints. That, good right oh, hand. Good, good right hands there. We talked about. He's not letting go of the rest. And when he does, he's pretty effective. Like that. Carlos Vargas, the cut man in the corner of Pablo Cano. Oh, good right. Can give him the right lateral movement. He's more effective. Three punch combination, Malinaji. Oh, good right hand from Cano. And while there's swelling there, still, that cut has not reopened in this last round or two. I'm, I'm shocked at that. Good jabs on my Malinaji, and that's fine. It's a more difficult for him. Yeah, I agree. He's going to have to let those, those power shots go. You know, he's one thing to jab all night. And you can put rounds in the bag with a jab, but... Oh, and we saw an, another punch there has been very effective. That was a nice right hand by Malinaji. He hasn't landed as many of those as he would like in this match. And Kano came back with a good right hand of his own. Two jabs by Malinaji. Kano a veteran, as I said, he's 23, but he's already a six-year veteran. Started very early in his pro career. So he's got some experience, and he's handling himself with poise tonight. And more lateral movement from Malinaji, and throwing the jab. That's what he wants to do. Good left hand, that staggered Malinaji. And a good right to the body, and another right to the body. Now to round nine. I know you haven't been cut, sir. It's like fighting with one eye. You know, your depth perception's off. If, if he steps right to the to the right side or the, eye, the the side where your eye is cut, you can't see him at all. So you know, it's like fighting with only half vision, which I could only imagine is very uh, very tough indeed. This has been a very good round for Malinaji. One of his better rounds in the last four, fading just a bit. Takes up the champ, Pauly, Pauly. A 
Pauly Malinakis. Yeah, you know, he, he needs to put more of his arsenal together. You know, Pauly has a lot more to offer than, than just the jab. And I feel like he, he's just kind of solely relying on the jab to get that cut open. And then his fight. Look at the numbers on Malinazzi in this round. You can see 20 out of 40 in terms of jabs thrown and connected. And the replies, oh! Tells everybody he's okay, but nonetheless. Changing things in a big hurry. a lot of pressure on Paulie Malinaji to have a very good 12th round. <laughs> That's some good insurance there. Huh? But still, you know, for any fighter, a loss is a loss. You know, just in case the, the eye is a little affected by the revision. Nice double jab by Malinaji. Kano just looking to load up and get him out of there. He's got 44 seconds to get final 10 seconds. Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds of action, we have a split decision. Here are the score totals. Judge of ringside Glenn Feldman scores about 118 to 109 in favor of Pablo Cesar Cano. Judge at ringside Nelson Vasquez sees about 114 to 113 in favor of Polly Malanaji. Judge at ringside Tom Miller sees it 114 to 113. In